Hey y'all, I've got something here that I really want to show you. Uh, y'all know that, you know, I'm a nature lover and all that. And I really have a thing for trees, especially old ones, big ones. I don't know how old this tree is. I do know that there's a there's an antebellum house over there, meaning it predates the Civil War, which started in 1861. I don't think the tree is nearly that old, but I bet it is a hundred or more years old. And according to my friends that own this property, the tree is uh, supposed to be the biggest in the county, so that would be Jefferson County, Arkansas. But the size of the tree <clears throat> isn't really what impresses me, even though it is big, but just the way that it's grown and everything. Uh, Kind of reminds you of something out of a Dr. Seuss book, so I'm gonna just show you some of this craziness. What I told you wasn't exactly right. I meant to say this is the largest magnolia tree in Jefferson County, and I don't know what the metrics are for that because the trunk itself it is big, but actually that one over there may be bigger so I don't know you know how they go about figuring this but whatever the tree is huge and it just grows crazy and out this will give you an idea <laughs> there's my shoe and these limbs are just coming out to the ground and just drooping down and they're coming out on all sides. That limb's one of my favorites. And this is one part that's pretty cool. So you can see this small limb comes out and it droops so far down that it touches the ground and then it comes back up over there. I don't know when this happened, but at some point these limbs were cut and they were like that. And you can see that they're actually taking root. And so now they're separate trees. So this tree is so weird and sprawling like that it's, I'm having a really hard time catching it on camera to get my point across, but show you some of it it's just super cool super weird uh, I really would have loved to have seen this tree uh, when I was a kid <laughs> I would have climbed all over it so yeah uh, supposed to be the biggest magnolia tree in this county I have some seen some in the neighboring county that was a lot bigger but I don't think I've ever seen one with this crazy growth on it like this so those of you that's never seen a magnolia tree there's a little cone i don't know if that's what they call it a cone or what that'd be the seed pod that's from last year it's pretty old and these trees are evergreen uh, they keep these leaves all winter check out the goats they usually let them out to go eat but i'm feeding them today Picked them some grass and they'll fight and butt heads and everything else. Huh. Pretty calm today. Check it out, the blue eggs. They're kind of eggs. <laughs> Got a lot of these blue egg chickens.
pretty cool. So, just making a point with that tree and a lot of other stuff that I see when I'm out in the woods and sometimes parks, sometimes it's property, somebody's property like this. Uh, some of the coolest stuff you can find is, you know, out in nature. It may just be on a farm like this, something overlooked uh, that you probably drive past and never notice. But, you know, we all love to watch science fiction movies, fantasy movies. Uh, stuff like that and you know a lot of that stuff you can find just as weird and interesting stuff out here outside so yeah i just wanted to share that with you uh i don't know how much justice i did on camera but it's it is cool take my word for it uh so that'll be it for today uh, i hope y'all like that hope it gets you to thinking about stuff gets you out looking around see what you can find Pretty much every landscape uh, in this country or any other country, whether it's desert, uh, temperate, tropical, you name it, they all have some kind of weird uh, uniqueness to them. So, you know, I encourage you to go out and see that. Anyway, y'all be good. I'll see you later. Bye.